Archibald Chesterfield the third here and we've got an express review. That's right. Hello fuckers. Hello fuckers. And uh yes, I'm very very proud to announce the uh the express review. That's right for super fast fuckers. And uh just as I'm adjusting the white balance, come on fuckers, cut me some slack. Some little bit ah oh, Fuck, this white balance is a real bitch to get. Okay, there we go. Now, fuckers, this is an email I received in from Jean Inversen. Okay, and he says, this is a special, it's an express request. A donation of 80 US dollars. Oh, fuck. Has been transferred to your account. Please see separate email sent with invoice. Please make a detailed and a good review of my current collection and hopefully future buys with your recommended recommended alternatives. Mr. Inversen. Okay, let's have a look here. P.S. See my corrections in text below and use that as the material for the review and not for the first one that you receive. Dear Sir, I am a watch collector and I would like your opinion on my current collection and the planned timepieces added to the collection. Being aware of your criticism for Zenith as a manufacturer, I am not wanting you to praise the two timepieces. For me, Zenith being as a JLC, a true manufacturer, where all parts, all parts, fuckers, we specialize in the repair of Rolex and Patek Philippe watches. We've been doing the same thing for more than 25 years. We have a Rolex technician certified by Rolex who actually used to work for the company for many years, like if we do in the work on the factory. We completely disassemble the watch and we put it to work, like brand new condition. When you get the pre-owned watch, it's like if you're getting a brand new unit. The only difference is the money. All parts! of the timepiece being produced in-house. I really hate manufacturers not even having one signal, single movement produced in-house but using lower or higher grade ETA. Nothing wrong with ETA, but it's not for me. However, the striking 10th being a collector's item based on being limited to 1,969 pieces. The most beloved watch being the Jaeger Cultura Master Chronograph in limited edition of 150 pieces. It's elegant and having indicators in gold versus the standard master chronograph navy blue indicators. The Omega Aquaterra being my daily watch together with the Rolex Submariner. Okay, his collection is number one, the Zenith El Primo Chronomaster Grand Date Moon Phase. He purchased this in 2014. Okay, number two, the Zenith El Primo Striking 10th, purchased in 2014. Number three, the Rolex Submariner 116610LN, purchased 10th October 2014. Next piece is the uh, Jaeger Le Coultre Master Chronograph. It's a... Um, Purchased 2012, and then an Amiga Seamaster Aquaterra. Purchased 2014. Following planned added in the near future. Number one, a Jaeger La Cultura Reverso Grand Date. I love the Grand Date. Love the Grand Date. Discontinued model, but still available on the pre-owned market, or the newer Jaeger Le Coultre Reverso Grand Calendar. Beautiful timepiece with day, month, date, and moon phases. Number two, a Lange and Son Lange 1 in rose gold. Fantastic watch manufacturer that is in many ways more high-end than Patek. Number three, a Rolex Daytona white dial and steel. Number four, Omega Omega Speedmaster Man on the Moon manual wind with the leather strap. Best regards, Jean Everson from Norway. Wow, fantastic. So let's 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 go through the rundown and let's see what does 
What does Archibald think here? Okay, the Zenith El Primo Chrono Master. Grand Date Moonface. Yes. I gotta hand it. Zenith is a true manufacturer. Can't criticize that. The Zenith El Primo Striking 10th. Another great piece. The Rolex Submariner Date. Classic. The Jago Lecoultre Master Chronograph. Classic. The Omega Seamaster Aquatera. Classic. Absolutely fantastic. Five beautiful pieces. I would say to you, I would say to you, uh, I'd be inclined to, I think you need to add a GMT type watch, like an Explorer 2 or a, uh, a Rolex GMT Master 2. Uh, in the near future, you've got the Jago La Culture Reverso Grand Date. That is classic, absolute classic. Very, very nice collection indeed. The Lang Aeon Sun. Oh, that is just... That's uh, that's that's my panties are getting wet here. That is just a cool piece. The Lang A1 in rose gold. Oh! As you say, in some ways better than Patek. I tend to agree with you. That is a very fair comment there. I tend to agree. The Daytona, I'm not so sure on the Daytona. I think you've got enough chronographs. Um, but I, I would say um, possibly the GMT Master or an Explorer 2 would be better at that spot. And lastly, the Amiga Speedmaster Moon on the Moon. Absolutely fantastic piece. Now, I'd have to say, Jean, your collection, what would I give this fucker out of 10? I would have to say... This is a, at the current stage, a 7 out of 10. If you add those other fuckers, it'd be a 9. This is a really good collection. The Zenith, Zenith is a great brand. And i got to tell you the truth there. They are an in-house movement. I mean, Zenith used to supply movements to fucking Rolex, for God's sake. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? That is a top manufacturer. You got the sub, you need a sub date. That is a cool piece. I'm wearing a sub date. That's a cool piece. Uh, Jager La Cultura Master Chronograph, cool piece. The Even the Aquaterra, the Amiga Aquaterra, I love that. That's cool. Uh, I can't fault you. I can't fault you. This is a top notch collection, and you're a top notch bloke. Uh, I, I gotta say, this is really good collection. So. There you go, fuckers. I'm Archibald Chesterfield the third. I give this the thumbs up. Thumbs up. I agree with what he's doing. I can't see any problems with anything he's doing there. This is going to be a very, very fine collection. Very fine collection indeed. Um, I think even the potential... The only thing I would, would change is that instead of getting the Daytona, I'd probably go for a GMT Master... A GMT Master or an Explorer 2. That's the only thing I would uh, correct there. I agree. The Lang A1 is fucking amazing. Uh, the Reverso Grand Date. Oh, that is just so sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet spot. Uh, everything about this is a great video, a great collection. So uh, all i got to say is well done and... Uh, Keep enjoying the Archie Luxury channel. See you later, fuckers! I'm Archie Luxury, and see you later, fuckers!